Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. You will not be disappointed. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos of different makes and models of new vehicles that will blow you away with the value that they can add to your shopping experience. So check it out. Check out my channel. Lots of stuff there. Okay, so I am at East Coast Volkswagen and they are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they are allowing me to show off this 2015 Volkswagen Tiguan S. So this is a really neat kind of you know SUV that is roomy, it's economical, it gets great gas mileage, and it has a turbocharged engine by the way. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's got the alloy wheels going on here with four-wheel disc brakes. 16-inch alloy wheels by the way. And you notice it's kind of a not a huge SUV it's kind of like a medium size or a small size I would say it's kind of medium size for today's standards SUV front-wheel drive let's take a look here in the front has the halogen reflector headlights with the daytime running lights there Okay, so let's take a look at the passenger side. So there's the inside of the passenger door. It has a, like a microfiber cloth here and here and all the way down uh, in this area here as well. You have a place to put a bottle holder, I mean a bottle. It holds your, you know, like your water bottle or something. Plus you have some storage space in there. And it has like a felt lining at the very bottom. that refocus okay so here's the passenger seat you notice it's very far off the floor so you have like a uh, kind of like a chair in your house feel to it it's very comfortable manual adjustments on the seats cloth seats with some you have some texture feel also the pattern there in the center glove compartment is pretty good size actually and it's an air-conditioned glove compartment. There's a little, that little wheel in there. You can turn that feature on and off or have it, you know, half air conditioning. And that way, if you have some heat sensitive stuff, you can put it in a glove compartment and it uh, stays cool. Maybe even put it like a water bottle of cold water in there and it keeps it cold. So here's the inside of the rear door, it's slightly smaller, but it has the same setup here with the microfiber cloth and the storage pocket there. Back seats have plenty of room. The headroom is awesome. The leg room is good. You can see that seat's just about all the way, I think it is all the way back. And you can see the leg room's pretty substantial. Plus the seat is pretty good ways off the ground, off the floor there. So, uh, you know, your knees aren't sticking up in the air. Plus you have this little side pocket there for putting your cell phone or whatever when you get in the vehicle. You have a power supply there, 12 volt, plus a little pocket below. All right, this right here folds down, and you have like an armrest plus some cup holders if you don't have a center passenger. Plus, it gives you an, a little access to the back if you want to do that. All right, and these seats will fold down, by the way, too. Just like pulling that strap will fold them all the way down. That seat's all the way back, so it's kind of getting in the way but um but it will fold all the way flat and you can adjust the, the back it reclines back where you can have it more more vertical however you want it all right here's the fuel door and the fuel cap is in there uh, it's just as simple as pushing it to open it up and when you open this up i'm not going to open it up since it's running but it has a little little stud at the other end that fits in this hole to allow a place for the cap to go while you're putting gas in the car uh, to where it's out of the way and also it's not dangling down and scratching your paint. So here's the back. It has that, that low profile spoiler at the top to give a little bit better airflow around the vehicle. 
has the dual pipes coming out the back to let that 2.0 liter turbocharged engine breathe a little bit. So let's go ahead and check, check it out back here. Open it up. There it is. There's a little, little switch right here. And there's your backup camera. So we got some floor mats in the way, but I think you get the idea of the size of the, the back. You got some tie downs there and there. You have a power supply there, 12 volt. This lifts up and you got a spare tire and you got a bunch of storage space under here too, which is pretty cool. And it looks like a full size spare tire as well. And this is a shade that you can remove. You can take it out if you want. It's very light in case you need some more cargo space. But it is a, you know, covers everything up so nobody can see your stuff. Um, you know, that's kind of what it's designed for. Plus to keep the sun off of everything. Pepper gray metallic exterior. If you want to use the pause button, you can check out the window sticker a little bit more in detail. Let's take a look under the hood. Check out the engine. Okay, so just under, just above the Volkswagen symbol, there's a little lever right there in the center. It's right there. All right, so here's the engine. The turbo is in the back. You can't really see it; it's kind of out of the way, but. Uh, TSI stands for Turbocharged Stratified Injection. Stratified Injection. And so basically it uses direct in a combination, that's what stratified means, like a layer system. A combination of turbocharged technology and direct injection to give you much, much better gas mileage while maintaining plenty of power. So that's basically what it's designed to do. All right, so let's take a look on the inside in a little bit more detail. All right, here we are on the inside. So you got plenty of leg room there. So let's go ahead and start over here on the door. You have a bottle holder there and some storage space. And you got the power windows here. You can lock out the power windows if you want to there. Side mirrors, you can adjust them by turning to the appropriate side and then use it like a little joystick to control it. All right, and over here, we've got your headlights, just on and off. Really like that, very simple. And um, nothing really say much more than that. Your interior lighting uh, on your dash, you can adjust the brightness here if you want to. Let's take a look at the steering wheel. That is a leather wrapped steering wheel, stitched on the inside. And it's a smooth leather. It's very tight. The leather is wrapped very tight and comfortable and very high quality feeling. And you have these bolsters here um, for lateral control there. Metallic accents at the bottom. So we've got some buttons here, and um, let's go ahead and start here on the left. The volume for your radio is here. Changing through your presets on your radio is here. And these two buttons, the phone and that little microphone thing, that's for answering calls on your, once you pair your Bluetooth phone, uh, you can answer calls there, and you can actually make calls by pushing that button and saying the person who you want to call. Here on the right corresponds with this little screen between the gauges. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scroll through so you can see the different information that it shows when I when I scroll through. So right now it's showing the range. Scroll to the right, showing me what the radio is doing, what the phone would be doing if it's doing anything. Uh, you can go into settings, change your language and stuff like that. And then you have a range. Um, so it just keeps on scrolling back. So that is all the screens. It just scrolls back to the to the original one there. And at any time you can, you need to go like in your settings or something, you can scroll up and down um, there and hit OK if you need to. And then there's a back button if you go into a, a setting that you need to go back out of. So 
So the gauges are really simple and easy to read. Uh, black background, white lettering, really easy to read in just about any lighting condition. So you got 160 mile an hour speedometer there on the right with your fuel gauge in the center and then your RPMs with your temperature gauge there on the left. And you notice that it does have the uh, digital compass here. It's facing south. There's a clock. Down here's your temperature, 97 degrees. That's every bit of that today. It's very hot. And uh, your miles on your vehicle and then your trip. And your trip can be reset with this button here. And your clock can be adjusted here. Okay, so right here on the left side of the steering wheel behind it, you have your cruise control on the end of your turn signal switch. Uh, so basically all you have to do is make sure you turn it on. So right now it's off. I just go to on. Um, I can always cancel by just gently bumping it like that or I can go all the way to off. Once it's on, I can set it using this button. I can change the speed by using both buttons like that. So that's pretty much how you, how you use the, the cruise control. And of course you can you know use your high and low beams by pushing it in and out. On the right side is your windshield wiper controls there with the uh, delay feature at the top. All right, there's the key. Now it's a, let me show you what the key looks like. It's kind of what they've used for a while now. The key is a pretty much a standard Volkswagen key. It has the lock and unlock and the, the trunk buttons there. And, um, and this is a little switch blade thing. So let's go ahead and hear it start up. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on over here. So here's your radio. Just above your radio, it has these little credit card holders. And you can put those in there like that. Like so. And um, you can put cards or credit cards or anything in there. There's also some down here as well. And then you have the four-way flashers there, CD holder, and here's your touchscreen. And the touchscreen has a CD, your CD player, you can go into that using your media, um, but you can also play music through your Bluetooth phone and other things I'll show you in a minute. Uh, SD card input, that kind of stuff, AM, FM, satellite radio, and your phone, you can set that up. It has a traditional volume knob here, and then your tune through the stations there. So. AM, FM, satellite radio, you put your media, no media available right now. So down here is your climate control and um, air conditioning, recirculate the air, defroster, temperature, fan speed, where you want the air to blow. Pretty decent pocket right here. Um, that would be a good place to put a cell phone or something. Got another pocket there with your power supply. Another one down here. This is a like a rubber lining that you can remove and clean and put back in. So down here, in addition to those little credit card places, you have a traction control button, which um, the traction control always is, is always on. But if you want to turn it off for some reason, like say if you're stuck in the snow or mud or something, you can push that button to spin tires and get out. Okay, so here's your shifter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in reverse. And to show you the backup camera, backup camera, camera pops up when you put it in reverse. It is an extremely wide angle lens, like a fisheye lens. So everything's kind of distorted. So they kind of counteract that with these yellow lines. And the yellow lines will um, kind of let you know about how wide your vehicle is. But also it gives you a threshold on how close you want to come to something. So there's that, that you know, no, no closer than that one line there, uh, line. Um, because uh, in the center is not as distorted as, as the ends so real close to the vehicle it looks like you got plenty of room but it's actually just a few inches that's pretty interesting so definitely pay attention to that line when you're backing up all right so you can continue down there's neutral and then there's drive that's your normal drive position now if you want to get sporty you can put it down in sport mode this will tell the vehicle that you want the highest performance this vehicle is capable of and you're not caring right now about fuel economy. All right, if you need to change through the gears if yourself, you can just slide it to the right and you can manually just bump it just like a ratchet shifter and change through the gears. There's the normal drive and then you can put it back in park there. 
it has an electric parking uh, brake so to, to engage it you just push it down like that and it will engage the parking brake actually pull it up you pull it up I always get that mixed up you pull it up to engage it push it down to release it cup holders there uh, you got this little thing that slides back and forth that closes them up and these cup holders these are little these are spring loaded to allow for different size cups you got a little storage pocket there and you get, have a center console it's cloth and uh, this will lift up and you have a little storage spot in here there's your auxiliary input also you have this little wire thing here it's plugged in and you can put you can get different plugins but this one has the um, the one that's made for an iPod but you can get different ones to plug in there um, for different devices you know, catering to your needs okay so here's the rear view mirror and it does have the manual day and night mode there up here we have lights tap lights here right and left and um, you know in case you need a quick reading light but if you want to turn all the interior lights on you can just push that button there putting it back in the center will allow it the interior lights to turn on with the door you can see a little picture of the door there um, but if you don't want the interior lights to turn on with the door you can just push it like that all right these actual buttons will make phone calls so I'm not going to push them um, but this is like an, for emergencies this is for roadside assistance and this is for general information and this opens up for a place to put your sunglasses the visors have mirrors and lights in them they have the mirror there and the lights up right above it let's take a look at the visibility back here All right, so what do you think of the vehicle? Do you like it? I think it's pretty neat. It's comfortable. It gets good gas mileage, has plenty of room. It's easy to use. Everything's pretty much easy to use in this one. So let me, tell me what you think. By the way, it does have this kind of storage pocket up there on the dash. I'm not really sure what you'd put up there because it gets extremely hot on the dashboard when the sun's shining on it. So maybe you can tell me. But anyways, um, yeah, if you have any questions, clarifications, anything like that, leave it in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure other people will too. And um, so, yeah, I'm here at East Coast Volkswagen. And John, my contact here, he's a buddy of mine. And he can deliver a vehicle to you anywhere in the United States. Really awesome service. So if you're interested in a vehicle, just uh, I'll leave his contact information in the description. You can... You can call them, you can email them, whatever you want to do. And um, so thank you to East Coast for allowing me to show off this awesome car, and thank you for your time. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.